this video, let's walk through how to add an on-premises, non-Azure, or non-AWS node to Azure Automation DSC. First, let's open up an Azure Automation account. I have one pinned to my dashboard. Make sure you check out my other videos on how to create an Azure Automation account, how to import a DSC configuration in Azure Automation, and how to add an Azure VM to Azure Automation DSC. Once we are in the Azure Automation account, I'm going to click on DSC Nodes. I already have an Azure VM under DSC Nodes, but now I want to add an on-premises node. To do so, I'm going to click on the Add Non-Azure button on the top. This will open a new page with the directions for onboarding machines for Azure Automation DSC. I'll make sure there's a link in the description for your own reference. Now let's get to the good stuff and switch over to the PowerShell ISE. I have copied the code that I got from the onboarding machines for Azure Automation DSC page I showed you earlier. This code comes with a configuration which will be used to generate our meta configuration that will configure the machine's local configuration manager to point to the Azure Automation account as its pull server. Next, we have a hash table of parameters that will be passed to the configuration above. Here, we are setting the following. The registration URL and registration key. I have blanked mine out to keep them private, but I have already run this code to store them in memory for when I run the configuration in a minute. To get the registration URL and key, let's go back to the Azure Automation account. On the left-hand side, go down to Account Settings you will see a link called Keys. Under Keys, you will find your access keys and URL. For this demo, I will be using the primary access key and the URL. The secondary key is used for making rolling key changes to avoid downtime or a break in service. Okay, now back to the ISE window. The next parameter is the server name. This is an array, so you can specify more than one if you wish. For node configuration name, I'm specifying a node configuration that I imported in my How to Import a DSC Configuration in Azure Automation video. The next few parameters are standard settings for the LCM and can be customized as you see fit. Lastly, there is a report only parameter. When set to true, it will configure the machine to only send reports back to Azure Automation and not pull configurations from it. You can use this if you have your own internal pull server or a process for delivering DSC. Now that we've got all the parameters set, I'm going to run the configuration and splat the parameters to it. This creates a meta MOF file that will be used to configure the server. Before I run the meta configuration, let's jump over to a PowerShell window where I have opened a session to the server I want to configure. You can see that the web server feature is currently not installed. And if I run get DSC local configuration manager, you can see that the LCM has not been configured yet. When I drill down on the configuration download managers, they are all blank. I'll come back to that later. Now I'll run set DSC local configuration manager and point it to the path of the meta configuration file. Now that that's complete, I'm going to switch back to the PowerShell window where you can see the local configuration manager has been configured. And when I drill down to the configuration download managers, those have been configured as well to point to our Azure automation account. When I go back to DSC nodes in Azure Automation, I can now see my on-premises server listed below. It is currently in the process of running the configuration. Now that the configuration is complete, if I go back to my remote session, I can see that the web server feature is now installed. That is how to add an on-premises or non-Azure non-AWS node to Azure Automation DSC.